Hi friends. In the last video, we learned how we can add a floating menu on the different section of the page. And in this video, we have another great choice for showing floating tab on the various section of the page, different section of the page. And it is going to be a responsive and very interactive call to action option for your wordpress website and we are going to use our wonderful plugin for this and it is easy side tab pro it is a responsive floating tab plugin for wordpress and it has been developed by the access key again so uh, the earlier one was also developed by the access key and this is another great solution for call to action and you can see the effect and it is really very good and I'll show you some demo dashboard. Uh, this is uh, the demo you can see on the page. And so we have uh, multiple templates with this plugin, and we can control the tab uh, wherever we want to show on the page. Like display position, fixed can be here, and absolute. Uh, we can put it in the tab in right and bottom left just you can see here and bottom right so wherever we have multiple position and we can choose any template as well like blaze orange so this is going to be blaze orange and mm, so east bay is here and it is very 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 good uh, designed tab and we can use this tab for our website and definitely it is going to be very good call to action option so let us uh, quickly install the plugin first of all i have on that plugin and i'm going to add plugin so uh, how really it is going to be simple and uh, okay so i'm just installing this plugin it will take a minute okay and we can activate the plugin and okay and 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 easy side tab pro so we have our tabs here and we have to use the template okay so we we can add new tab and um, first of all i'll edit this existing one this is the title and template include short code layout okay so this is the layout post tree and we can select as we want so this is the layout and we can save settings display position fixed okay so i'm going to again uh, uh, text for tab is title title tip none choose icon type and available icon so we can choose icon select icon okay so it is good icons are here so we can select icons as well and uh, tab type external content slider free on internal okay so let us see how it works and we can simply select the layout and fixed and we can even customize the layout so we can change the color and all and okay so it is here and tab setting is here tab one short code is here so copy and paste the short code directly into the wordpress post or page okay so we can do this and okay so oh, it is saved now i believe and now we need to put the short code where we want to show the menu and it is good wherever we want to so uh, we can simply put a short code and basically it should be on home page on uh, prominent pages and uh, we can also uh, copy and paste this template that is going to uh, so on the specific page display okay so uh, copy and paste this code into a template file include easy side tab on your theme okay so we can directly paste this short code and uh, template code to show uh, throughout the website so okay it is fine and let us assume we are going to show this tab on the 
this layout okay so this is the layout and we are going to copy this sort code okay copy it and now we can simply edit this sort code I'm just exploring how actually how easily it can be done and I'm uh, going to use backend editor and I'm I will simply add a section on this page just like a row and a text block you can simply a text block and and we will put the sort code here so whatever page builder you may be using so it is very simple to use and you can put it anywhere on the page so it should work i believe let us see if it really works and it is not here <laughs> okay so it was here i just skipped to watch it so it is here and it is working fine and as we said and what I'll do I'll, I'll set it again and I was just testing so uh, we can choose uh, external or internal I can select target or to self or blank so there are multiple settings so select icons we can select icons here this icon can be good and save settings add tab item is going to be the next activity that we need to do and we have to uh, add tab items like uh, on the different side so we can uh, set uh, title as here and we can add a level use uh, tooltip can be here to set title and tooltip taste one and another item is title two and total which is two and we are going to add an uh, internal link like let us say so self and select page so it is uh, it should be on another page so i'm just saving it i'm just testing all the functionality whether it is working so content slider can be also here so I'll check this one as well so I'm just refreshing the page I have added another item in the menu okay so this is uh, test 2 and we have this and we can simply check we have added test 1 and test 2 okay so we added a page I think test 2 and redirect to page title save okay so um, what i do i will select to open on a new page and now i'm saving i'm just replacing the page this is title 2 and okay let me check it again okay available item oh, for, okay uh, so this is title choose icon type is none so i'll select an available icon select icon and i'm randomly choosing any other this is icon and it should be done this 13 was selected so i am now uh, choosing cart okay let us see and choose cart so select icon i am selecting cart okay i'm so sorry cart and okay so let us see how it works if we are correct it should work okay so i have added cart and yes so it is on card now it was so simple and similarly we can create any type of floating object and okay so i will add more things just to show you how really it is working so uh, i am 
adding new tab and I'm now text for tab is title 3 and just in case tooltip we can keep and content slider we can have so so, so icons we can add here uh, icon type so um, upload your icon select icon we can have a source a link like let us see we are here and layout ellipse so we can have this triple so we have added source icon let us see how it works we can add and remove these things so i am choosing and now okay so it is good and somehow icons are not here i'm just replacing page okay so icons are not working mm -hmm. the out triple uh, two tip text triple is here layout one layout two it should be like here title text and your title is social uh, content slider and we can save it okay let us see if it works and I'm refreshing it now so I'm afraid it's not working exactly so what I'm willing to have so test 2 is working so some icons um, content cart and so what we can do uh, we can on page navigation why icon is not working so somehow social icon is not working i can check another one uh, like uh, subscription form or WooCommerce product yes if we can select so buy option category we can select accessories and bags and so price we can have this add so add to cart button yes order by IP and okay so let us see if it is working so uh, we can decide about this plugin if not I'm not sure why it is not working so I'm going to home page again and I have added new feature okay so it is working okay so social icons well, this is very attractive uh, way to show the product it is really and so add to cart option is also here so we can simply add to cart and view cart option is also here so it is good one and Similarly, you can explore the option and I'm not sure why social icon is uh, not working. It might be a, uh, uh, some uh, overlapping issue with the theme. So it may work for another theme. So I will definitely uh, write some comment in the comment section of this video. Uh, description of this video, I will definitely uh, put some lines why it was so. Uh, and again, uh, we have another option like we can show e-commerce product and similarly we can show the recent uh, and even subscription form so uh, this is very good and you just need to show just in case if you are willing to show a simple form you can show the form here and you are having multiple options so like subscription success message and subscription title let us see if it is working I'm just exploring the options available with this plugin and now it should be like form so it is like this okay so it is form now and yes we have this form option and we can simply uh, okay so 
we just okay so we need to edit the text and also things and okay so i'll do that as well subscription form and subscription title select subscription type built-in form matching form subscription title is here uh, new sub and okay so it is just a basic customization it is not like technical thing so i'm in fact wasting your time i believe and so new stuff is here and why button is not being displayed i'm not sure so you can explore all this option and i believe it is going to work for you as well so uh, okay so you can decide layout and also things I believe this uh, option is also good in form of keeping the uh, website in more interactive manner and we can add new tab formats from here so it is good one and we can use it wisely to increase the click through to raise your at our website okay I am coming with another option in the next video let us see what we can do how we can enhance the functionality of wordpress thanks for watching